Okay, um, welcome back. Uh, we welcome you back to another to Kestan Jones Eat video. And um, today we're having arepas from Arepa Zone in the DMV area. We're having arepas from the DMV area. Arepa Zone. Arepas are little sandwiches that's like starting in Venezuela and Colombia. They used to all be one area, but all they are switched up now. They their own countries now. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy this stuff. This is the Vegana. The Vegana. Ve Vegana. And welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Um each one of them came with like a cute little sauce, which I'm not quite sure what's in this sauce. But... A rapa sauce. Mmm. <laughs> Cilantro, lime. Arepa. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Arepa. This is uh, like avocado and uh, fried plantain. Black beans. Black bean. And uh, fried. Mm-hmm. Plantain. And the arepas are all gluten-free. Yeah, they have the, vegan and gluten-free options available. The bread-like thing is gluten-free. Mm -hmm. This is guac. No, this is avocado, um, plantain, and black beans. All right. And what do you have? First, let's just... Oh. Let me just say, this is wild, okay? Let's see if by putting some of this on, we wake up Jones a little bit. Who's admittingly a little bit low energy because he's hangry. Just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't get hangry. <laughs> but we're going to rev him up a little bit. Get a little bit of juices going. This is going to do the trick. Did you want to try it first without this before I put the magic? Or yeah, I'm going to try it first. Because this is magic. I'm going to try this first. And this is our first time having arepas. Is it yeah. your first time? Mm-hmm. Because you could have did it like, you know, a few years ago. I was waiting Before for we you. met. I okay. Waiting. You so, were waiting for me? Yeah. I was waiting for you to try this. Perfect. We waited for each other. <laughs> it looks good. I'm not going to lie. That's a whole lot of non-gluten bread. Not gluten-free bread. I like it. Is it not gluten free or gluten free? Excuse me. I meant to say gluten free. Let oh. me not confuse you all. It's gluten free. I wouldn't be eating it if it was not. One thing about Lisa is until you, I tell you differently, you can rest assured that if I put it in my, into my mouth, it is gluten free. Unless I've told you differently. This is good. Is it yum? Um, I'm going to try some of that because the beans and, you know, everybody knows what avocado tastes like. Yeah, it's not the most flavorful. But, the black beans with the seasoned? avocado taste good. Are they seasoned, the black yeah. beans? Yeah. All right. You've not bitten into, bitten into the plantain yet, have you? Mm-mm. Now with the sauce. I mean, I could add this to meat, to veggies. It is really good. Oh, Fish. That makes a huge difference. Dang, I should have gotten extra sauce. No. Very good. I didn't catch a plantain yet. I've got the beans and the avocado strays. Okay. When you get to the plantain, let me know so I can take a bite. You might want to take it now because it might not be any left. Is that nice? <laughs> okay. I'll take a bite now. If you get a plantain, then that's... That I was how it was supposed know. to be. And that's how it was supposed to be. How is it? The um, the um. Is it? Mm-hmm. Um, the um. That's the, that's the Eritrean mm. word for delicioso, sabroso. Mm. And in case you didn't know so. Oh yeah. my goodness. The more I bite into it, the better it gets. Mm. Now, not, not just because I'm hungry. This is actually 
really good. I think the Arepa Zones are a DMV thing. Somebody let me know if you see them in the rest of the country, but I don't think so. Wow. The bread is nice and fluffy. I'm assuming it's made with corn, although it doesn't look like it's made with corn. It's so it fluffy. Is. It is corn? Maize. Sorry, let me have a little bit. Maize. I was trying to rip just the bread apart. It's mine oh. right though. I got a plantain. Mm. Mm. All go together. That's why I wanted that bite. Because <laughs> I saw the plantain made an appearance. Like you trying to make an appearance on the sandwich. Okay. Mm. So I can actually finish this whole thing and mm. then I won't have room for anything else. Mm, pause then. We have one, two, three more flavors to try. Three, I thought we got six. Two of everything. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four. well, not exactly two of everything. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, four different varietals. All right. Mm. Yeah, the Put plantains are sweet. The beans are, you know, typical, mush, nice. Yeah, black beans. Are black good. beans. Season. Avocados, nice. That the um the sauce just makes it really refreshing. It's just that next level. Yeah. Cilantro with the lime. It put some soul into it. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, so I'm up next. I'm gonna first sample the capresa, which is also another vegetarian one. Was that vegetarian? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I didn't even miss. <laughs> you chose this it one. It tastes so good. Yeah. No, I mean the the one the vegan. Oh yeah. Oh I yeah. Said it was vegan. vegan. Yeah. Now this one is vegetarian, but has queso. How you say um, queso in Italian? I think it's because it's cheese, right? At the end of the day, formaggio, formaggio. Oh. Uh, C'est le fromage. It's got fromage. It's got formaggio in it. Mm-hmm. All right, we should take the bite first without the um. <clears throat> And that they give you a lot of avocado, which is uh, most places skimp on the avocados. We've only seen that in Kenya, to be honest. What? Where you get excess avocado. And Mexico. But you didn't go. Ah, anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Let's get into this sandwich. Notice his peeling nose. Someone just came back from a holiday. Sans his right, whiff. Boy. Sans his whiff. She's just mad because I'm darker than her now. <laughs> when I met her, she was darker than me. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. See, I caught that. Thank you. Come on, babe. You know, you, you know, pretty girls are too um, <laughs> clumsy. Let me get this. We didn't give you guys a good enough shot go. earlier. There you go. You can see the tomato. You got to lift it up and tilt it. There's tomato tomatoes in there. Pomodoro. Tomatoes in there. Basil, really nice. So it tastes like a caprese. And then let's add the sweet Take it back from me. Yeah. Because she has not finished having that first bite. I'm gonna add this now. Which, to be honest, this one it could even go without because it tastes like a really nice caprese. Oh, she I knows a it. thing or two about caprese. Mm hmm. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Mama mia. All right. Buona, now buona. I'm going to try this caprese. Mm. Is that how you say it? Caprese. They call it capresa, I think, but in Italiano we say caprese. Oh, okay. Basil, mozzarella. Mm. Basil, mozzarella, and tomato. And guess what that stands for, guys? The Italian flag, did you notice? Just like a margherita pizza. This is good. Basil, mozzarella, pomodoro. Perfetto. Isn't it great? I'm loving it. I know. It's great with the sauce or without. This mm, one is just a little mm. bit fresher because yeah. of the tomatoes and all that. It just feels a little bit fresher in the basil because it's fresh basil. The vegana is really good, but it's all cooked, right? It's cooked. Um, <clears throat> it's It's refried beans possibly it's fried plantain so i like the uh this cheese the mozzarella well i think it's 
Oh, what do you call it? Burrata? No, 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 non è burrata. This is questo, but you know, in Italian oh. we would have real buffalo mozzarella. Well, it tastes like mozzarella to me. I'm gonna have another bite. But I guess bite. it's not. Can I? But anyway, can I pass it's on spread. The... Yeah. Like you can spread it on that soft. Yeah. He's gonna mm. open up the Santa Barbara. He's Santa moving Barbara. away from vegetarian food. Dun, dun, dun. I'm a flexitarian now. Flexitarian. Um, I'm gonna have a couple more bites of this one. Mm -hmm. This tongue. All right. This is uh, Santa Barbara, and you see my thing. Yeah, it's this one's kind of messy because it has um, beef, barbecue. This is a roasted. No, it's a uh, grilled beef. Um. It is packed full of, uh, it is packed. They didn't skimp out on any of the um, ingredients on this one. On these sandwiches, so mm -hmm. if you get you a sandwich, if mm -hmm. you get your arepa from here, you're going to get your money's worth. Well, let's talk about that. Even the tomatoes. The tomatoes are good. And you got the cilantro, you know that soul feeling. All right, so let me let me bite into this one. Uh oh, no worries, no mm -hmm. worries. Here, I'm gonna get into that one. Mm. <clears throat> We're eating the caprese. It's taking me back to Italia. Mm. It's as mm. close as I'm gonna get to Italia. Mm. I got no words. Really? The beef is um, tender. It tastes like it was slow roasted for eight days. Really? It's so soft and tender. Ah, that was good. You guys had like carne asada burritos or something or carne asada fries carne mm -hmm. asada mm -hmm. slow roasted beef grilled no marinated mm -hmm. and then grilled or they can like roast it forever <clears throat> this is good in a pit <laughs> yeah that was good mm. man even the tomatoes were they taste fresh i like that piece of beef here. What else is in there? Mmm, it looks like... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But really it's all good, good though. Really good. All good. So, we'll get to the price point. Because you said this is worth your money. I'm curious to know once I give him the price points. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. In our household, Jones is the budget police. Yeah. He's the numbers guy. But when it comes to food, that's where we splurge. Yes. For our house, we can not skip. for our yeah. No, we don't get cheap. cheap we don't buy cheap groceries. Stuff for them. And expensive, that's cheap. Mm -hmm. But there's quality stuff We're not going that you to pay for. I'm not going after the dollar menu. Mm -mm. You want to try this one? Mm, no, I'm going to pass. All right. But I'm going to take your word for it. So far, it sounds like it's your favorite. Um, So far, I don't know what my favorite yet. Okay. They're all good. I, I can't. I'm not picking a side right now. He's so diplomatic. Mm hmm. That, is it Pabellon? Pabellon? Pabellon. I'm gonna go back to eating this vegana. Pabellon. As he continues huh. to venture down the <laughs> other ones. Why do we do this? Because I can barely finish. I don't think I can finish anything. I can. Right now. I can finish at least this because it's 3.30 and this is my first meal of the day. Yes, this one here with you all. First time I'm eating. I had, what did I have? I had toast. That's it, jam. yeah. So you haven't had much. 
and I had coffee. How was your toast? I made a really nice toast for him this morning. <laughs> was oh. it good? <laughs> This tastes like it's barbecue beef. Not Chinese barbecue, but like Mexican, I mean, South American barbecue without the sauce. It tastes like a whole, like a bowl on the sandwich. Like the beef, beans, cheese, everything on mm. a sandwich with this nice, this nice bread. And as you can see, it is messy because it's real. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> real juices. Real beef. The cheese is good. It doesn't taste cheesy. Hmm. Some white cheese. Yeah. It no tastes kind of like. Yeah, it tastes some it's cheese. That's the predominant flavor? No. It's uh It's the, the beef you, any um, Latin American restaurant you go to, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't explain it, but this is good. Mm -hmm. This is good. It's shredded beef. Mm. Shredded. So it's almost like a pulled, mm -hmm. it's not a pork, it's beef, but really tender. Oh. You can see. And now I got. Shredded. A uh, plantain. Mm. And there's plantain in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is all right. Mm-hmm. This one right here. I'm feeling it. Oh yeah. This is good. Black beans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that beef? I noticed you've not added any of the sauce. I guess it doesn't need it. Let me try that. I almost forgot it was here. But you're saying it's so flavorful. So flavorful, yeah. And it's not dry, so. It's not dry at all. Not dry, like the meat is not dry in both sandwiches that mm -hmm. had meat. Meat was tender, juicy. Y'all see the grease? <laughs> Y'all see the oil? Oh, oh. With that sauce, it gave us some tangy. Some tanginess. It's the sauce, guys. It's not just the sauce, but the sauce is really the good. The sauce is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Take one more bite. Got a lot of queso. Are you getting full? Mm-hmm. Mm, you got any more? Mm-mm. Might as well enjoy one, pick one. That's what I did. I'm having my that lunch was her now. Excuse. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So. Ooh. So give us your favorite. <clears throat> That's all right. I can't pick one. Can you um? <clears throat> excuse me. Can you tell the viewers between the two meat ones what the difference was between the Santa <clears throat> the, Barbara the meat, so the Santa Barbara was like like a steak sliced mm. steak and okay. with the tomatoes in there almost like a bruschetta it looked like yeah but the steak the steak was really seasoned well tastes like it had been marinated like I said it tastes like it's been like roasting for a while, a couple of days, and then the other one. They the, probably started on it while you were still in Mexico. It's not mad though. It's fine that you were in Mexico. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> um, <laughs> now we'll we're gonna do a trip all together this time. <laughs> Y'all see that on the video. I'm really, I'm really just taking it. <clears throat> yeah, but there's no we, hard feelings. <laughs> no, video is coming anyway. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So the um. Pabellon. Mm -hmm. Pabellon. Pabellon. Yeah, that had um, shredded beef. 
and it had all the queso and the queso. And you said plantain? Bla black bean, plantain. So that one sounds heavier, maybe. They all are, I won't say heavy, but they're all like, you, you think it's just a sandwich, but it's a really filling sandwich mm -hmm. because of the the bread probably plus the meat i mean you see what it was packed like they didn't skimp on anything so um that could have easily been put in a bowl like this big <laughs> so um but it had all the flavors that you used to have in that you know latin american eateries mm -hmm. you know so um i enjoyed all of them i don't have a favorite I can't, I can't choose one. Like I would get any of them, any time of the day, any mm -hmm. day of the week. What would you pay for one? Why are we talking about payments? <laughs> you said it was worth the money. That. Okay, it's worth the money. I think they're what, $15 a piece? Close. Between 10 and $15 a piece. I mean, that's what you're gonna pay though. For, you know, anywhere you go nowadays, you're gonna spend like, you know, for a, for a sandwich, even a sandwich, you're gonna spend at least eight to fifteen dollars, right? Finger looking good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Burrito. Eight eight fifteen. Two. Unfortunately, even more than that, I've seen. Well, you know, you get the gist though. It's right along for me. It's not right along. It's mm -hmm. right along the same lines. Yep. Ah, yeah, that was good. So, Arepa Zone, I will go back. I recommend. Um, so, the rating for Arepa Zone, all the Arepas. Mm, and by the way, before you give them your review, there are several locations with differing menus, slight variations. So, the yeah. ones that we picked today were, for instance, not available at the one that I was planning to go to in DC, ended up having to go elsewhere. So just take note of that when you're looking up your arepa zone. If you're trying to duplicate what we've done, we had to find a location that had, excuse me, these specific arepas. So based on that, you know, the price points, the vegetarian ones were around nine. The meat ones were about 13 plus taxes, yada, yada, yada. So in total, what was your experience? Like out of 10, would you, how would you rate this? It's a come down with me moment. If you know, you know. For those uh, rapers, um, well, I don't know. I haven't had any. That was my first time having them. Fair. And what I've eaten so far, all of them were nine each. So the whole experience is nine. Mm -hmm. Me too. I've not had arepas, so I don't have a reference point, which is makes a huge difference. However, based on just the fact that the food that we ate was delicious today, <clears throat> and it was gluten-free, thank you for remembering us at Buzz Zone, folks. We appreciate you remembering the folks that can't eat the gluten. Um, I would give it a nine. Yay, and have. that is the highest rating <laughs> since we've been Very since we nice. had this channel. That's the highest I ever heard her rate anything I'm gonna, so far. I'm going to amend it. I'm going to make it an eight. <laughs> nah, I'm going to make it an eight. Why? Because I want to save the nines and the tenses for the places that also get the organic produce and ingredients, which we've not come across yet. All right. But this was delicious. It was accessible. It's easy to travel with. So another thing to consider, things like this are great to bring with you when you're traveling. Look at how it's packaged. It's easy if you're on a bus, on the Greyhound or whatever bus you're on. If you're on a flight, traveling, going to work, like this guy is going. Easy breezy to take one or two of these with you. <clears throat> so I think that um, that also makes it um, yeah. enjoyable. I, I'm glad that they packaged it in that paper instead of styrofoam mm -hmm. and instead of the cheap um like the plastic with like like the uh that you get at chinese restaurants yeah i like those that's that's like it's just clean it's easy mm -hmm. it's and, compostable yeah. or biodegradable one or yeah two. so yeah we know we we kind of got a green thumb you know we, we in the green 
So it, uh, you know, yes, and it's recyclable. Okay, but anyway, with the food, the food was definitely was a nine good. for me, eight for her. Yeah, we didn't get any dessert. That's how we stay slim. <laughs> no dessert. No, but also you saw us trying desserts at Happy Tart very recently, so. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we're wrapping this up. Um, a rap is on. I give it a nine, like I said. She gives it an eight. We will both go back and we will both order stuff. And this is great food if you're getting on a flight, getting on an airplane, or getting on a bus, or on a, a car ride. Um, just remember. Road trip, yeah. Yeah, road trip. Just remember the two ones with meat. You know, it's, it's real meat in there, so. It's going to be oily, but it wasn't, you know, it's not too bad. So, all right. With that being said, we are out of here. Thanks for checking us out again. And come back to our channel where we, I don't know what we're reviewing next time, but it's going to be some more food and some more good stuff. All right, y'all. Bye. Stay decent. Get free, stay free. <laughs>